We'll know that having subtitles or captions like the ones that you see on this video is a good practice for short video formats that will end up on Instagram, TikTok and YouTube shorts. Well, as you can see from the title of this video, I found a way to bulk create subtitles in Canva. This will also save you the editing time because it includes a drag and drop editing process. I'm going to show you all the steps in this tutorial, so stay watching until the end. This is the final result of the project we'll create today. As you can see, it is a short video format and the video itself has different scenes. Like for example, here we see my face, then we see another video, another one and so on. I'm showing you this because the steps that I'm going to show you on this tutorial works for short and snappy content that has several scenes. You will understand what I'm talking about while watching the video, so if you are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. Before we start editing the video, before we use the bulk create feature in Canva, we need the text to create the captions. You would like to have a script open in front of you. Once you have your script ready, you would like to break it down into short sentences. So what I did is to have my script like this, for example. Then I just need to hit enter to break the line and make each sentence not so long. Every single line of text that we're seeing here is going to become a subtitle. Once we have the text broken down into short lines of text, we are going to copy the script and then we can go to Canva. Now let's go to Canva and let's create a video document. Let's go to the videos section. For this project, I'm going to go for mobile video. Once in the editor, I'm going to upload the videos that I'm going to use for this project. So I'm going to upload, upload files. I'm selecting all the videos that I'm going to use for this project hit open. We're going to wait until every single video is fully uploaded to Canva. You can see the loading bars in here. You can also see the progress of the videos being uploaded to Canva with this little bubble right here. My videos are fully uploaded to Canva so I can follow the next step which is to create a text box and we're going to customize it so it has the style that we want on our subtitles. Let's go to the menu on the left hand side and open text. From here we can add a text box with this button and then we are going to customize it. So in my case I want a bold font so it's easier to read in the video. I usually like to use Montserrat so you can see it under recently used. If you cannot find it you can search for it typing Montserrat, but of course you can use the font that you wish. I'm going to go for the extra bold and then I'm going to effects. I'm going to select outline. We can play around with the thickness of the outline of our text. So you can bring it to the right to make the outline thicker. If you want to change the color of the outline, you can do it from here. I'm going to make the outline black and the color that is inside your text, you can change it from here. I'm going to make my text yellow. I think this is a pretty common style of captions and it is easy to read so that's why I'm going for this style. I'm going to increase the size of my text box and position it in a place where I know it is not going to be hidden by the watermarks that we see on TikTok, YouTube Shorts or Instagram Reels. Usually we will have the buttons to like and share on the right hand side or we can also see the name of your channel or your account, the caption at the bottom and we sometimes as well have some buttons on top. That's why I like to position my captions in this area of the screen. If you want to keep adjusting or customizing the way your captions are gonna look, you can find all the options you will need in this toolbar. Now we're ready to bulk create our subtitles. Let's go to the menu on the left hand side and open apps. Now search for the app called Bulk Create. If you don't see it on this menu, you can search for it. So 
type bulk, hit enter, and you will see the app right here. Bulk Create is available for Canva Pro users. So if you are a Canva free user and would like to test this feature out, we have a 45 day free trial of Canva Pro in the description. Click on this icon and now hit enter data manually. This window will pop up. I'm going to clear the table and then I'm going to right click and paste my script. Because I already broken down my script into single sentences or short lines of text, each line will go into a single cell. Now we're going to name the column, so I'm going to call it subtitles and hit done. Now select your text box, hit the three dots, connect data and select subtitles. Now we have connected this text box to our script and we just need to hit continue. We're going to generate 13 different pages and each page is going to have a single caption. Canva created a new document and each page we will see a caption. So let me show you. We have all the captions we need in here. Now we just need to drag and drop the videos that we previously uploaded. So let's go to upload, select videos. Now we just need to drag and drop the videos with the caption that belongs to. So I know that this is the video that will go in the intro of my short video. So I just need to drag and drop it until we see that Canva has taken the video into the background of the page. I'm going to continue. So let me see which video goes on the second page and I just need to drag and drop. This video in particular has two different sections. So the first section of the video has one subtitle and the second part of the video will have the second subtitle. So the first part of the video will show how we go to Canva and create a social media or video document. And let's see the second part of the video. This one will go here. This one says I'm gonna go for a mobile video. So I'm gonna take the subtitle, copy, and then go to this video. I'm going to find the section of the video where I say I'm going to create a mobile video. So I think it's around this area. I'm going to right click and split page. I'm going to delete this subtitle because I have it two times. I have it in this video and in this one. So I'm going to delete it on the second part of the video. And now I just need to paste the subtitle that I copied previously. So this one right here. I'm going to go for mobile video. I copied it and pasted it here. So I can delete this subtitle because we are already using it. We're going to continue dragging and dropping the files on every single section of our videos and adjust if necessary. I'm done with drag and dropping. I adjusted some of the videos that I inserted and now I want to show you a little trick that it is very helpful in Canva. Pay attention to this last clip. I appear on this video close to the camera and then I point up. I want something to appear on this section of the screen. So I'm gonna see more or less where I need to position my icon. I'm going to go to elements and I want to insert an UFO. So let me go to graphics, see all. I'm going to insert this icon. So I know that it's somewhere here. Let's change the color and then let's make sure that it is in the right position. Perfect. Okay, so I'm going to position this guide, this black guide, where I want this icon to appear. So here, then I'm going to select the icon, click on the three dots, show timing, and then I'm going to make this track appear where I see my guide. Like this, we don't see the icon before, but it will appear once I make my movement. I can make it appear even before, so somewhere here. Perfect. The last thing that I would like to show you is that if you see something that is not working quite well with your captions, you can always customize or adjust. So for example, this text box, I would like to bring it down. I can do it without any issues. I can also double click and adjust the lines on my captions 
if I want it, or I can also change the text of the caption. If you want to preview your video before downloading, you can click on this button. I think my video is looking good. Now what I want to do is to mute all the clips that I have inserted and add a music track. So I'm gonna select my video, go to the volume icon and then select this mute icon. We're gonna do the same for the following pages. Now let's add the music track. Let's go to elements, delete this search and then let's go to audio see all. From here you can select any of these music tracks or you can search for something in particular. I'm gonna search for a track called Ring the Alarm. This is the song that I want to use and before I insert it into my design I need to make sure that this guide is at the beginning of the video. Then I can click on the music track. My video is ready to be downloaded, so let's go to the navigation bar on top, select share, go to download. In here, I do recommend that if you are going to upload this short to YouTube, you do connect your YouTube channel to Canva to avoid music copyright claims. Once your YouTube channel is correctly connected to Canva, the name of your channel will appear here and you will be ready to download your video. My video is ready and this is the final result. Please let me know what do you guys think about this trick. I find it valuable because every time that I needed to create subtitles in Canva, it was very annoying having to create new text boxes and having to copy paste every single caption every time. So I think this can save us a lot of time, but I would like to know what do you guys think. Is it valuable to you guys as well? It is not. Maybe this requires a lot of work on your end. I don't know. I would like to know what do you guys think. In the comments. If you have any other idea on how to use while creating Canva, let us know in the comments. I would like to know if there is another creative way. Like this, we can all share ideas and learn from the comment section of the video as well. If you want to follow some other tutorials in which we use the bulk create feature, you can watch these two videos right here. And if you want to enjoy the 45 day free trial of Canva Pro, you can click in here. We also have a membership in the channel, so I'm gonna leave a link in the description in case that you want to learn more. I guess this is it for today and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.